Ahoy there, ship spotters! Welcome to our newest ship feature video. In this video, we will talk about the last and the remaining Mabuhay vessel of William Lines present today, the XMV Will Lines Mabuhay 6. Buckle up your seats as we embark you on a journey down the memory lane in remembering her history with more information about this iconic ship. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. But before anything else, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get the latest updates. Let's go! The old Will Lines Mabuhay 6 was the former ferry kikai of then Arimura Sangyo Lines, which later became A-Line Ferry of Japan. She was completed in July 1979 and was built by Fukuoka Zosen on his Fukuoka Yard in Japan. She had a length overall of 109.2 meters and beam of 17.9 meters. She is equipped with two Mitsubishi Marine Diesel engine with an output of 7,600 horsepower which made her capable of doing 18.5 knots originally. With the strategic connection of A-Line and William Lines Incorporated, she was sold to the Philippines in 1995 and later renamed as the MV Will Lines Mabuhay 6. The cargo boom at the bow was removed and was replaced with an additional passenger accommodation along with the extension of its third passenger deck behind the ship's navigational bridge. She made her first appearance as the MV Will Lines Mabuhay 6 in September of 1995 However, she didn't last long as the ill-starred merger of William, Gotham, and Apoides was effective on the first day of 1996. She was later renamed to MV Our Lady of Good Voyage under WGNA and had her first route bound for Dipolog with a service speed of 16.5 knots. A few years later, she was then transferred to its subsidiary, Cebu Ferries Corporation and was permanently assigned in the Cebu to Cagayan de Oro route with a once-a-week side trip to Hagna Buhol during that era. Here are some photos of her as the MV Our Lady of Good Voyage. In 2007, she was temporarily pulled out of her assigned route and was a reliever vessel plying the smaller routes under the Super Ferry brand because of the lack of ships during that time. With the advent of the newer Cebu Ferry Vessel series, she was laid up for sale. In 2009, she was laid up off the coast of Talisay City in Cebu awaiting for potential buyers. The successor owner, Aboitis Transport Systems Corporation, offered her to its longtime ally, Gotham Southern, in 2010. She was later renamed to MV Doña Conchita Sr. and served again the Cebu, Cagayan de Oro, Hagna, and vice versa route. Here are some photos of her being refitted towards MV Doña Conchita Sr.
However, it didn't last long as Gotham Southern decided to quit in its passenger shipping operations and concentrated more on the cargo and container operations. With that decision, she was again laid up and was put up for sale together with its fleet mate, the former MV Doña Rita Sr. In 2012, TransAsia Shipping Lines Incorporated acquired the remaining passenger vessels of Gotham Southern where the old MV Doña Conchita Sr. was renamed to MV TransAsia 9 and later served the company's flagship Cebu Cagayan de Oro and vice versa route. Here are some photos of her being refitted towards MV TransAsia 9. Here are some photos of her as the MV TransAsia 9. But she has come to an age. She already experienced frequent problems on her main engine. She was laid up in the FF Cruise Warp in Mandawe waiting for her fate. She was sold to a local scrap buyer in 2019 and is currently being broken up in the FF Cruise Warp up until today. She has served well throughout her entire career and she was a well-loved ship in the Cebu Cagayan de Oro group. Do you have an experience on board this vessel or do you have any memories to share? Please let us know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and see you on our next video.